loud for a second. And I guess all the homemade dip bread did get eaten because I don't see any more around, so we'll be doing regular bread toast. I love to take care of the people that come to my house, and and uh, so I'm always pushing food on them. Have a little more, have a little more. Come on, eat, you know. And and uh, so I started getting accused of being a little Jewish mama. I've been a complete bondage freak since the earliest conscious memories that I have. And it's always been a part of my life. And I don't know why. I, and, and it was all innocent uh, before I understood it or anybody around me understood anything of it. When I was four years old and this little girl in the neighborhood was four year old, I wanted to tie her up. So I found a piece of clothesline laying around to tie her up. And I still remember to this day what she's wearing. It's all my life happened. Everywhere I lived, I found an excuse to tie up every kid in the neighborhood. And I didn't even realize it was sexual until adolescence, and that I didn't tie up with the boys as much. But it's been such a strong part of my life, all of my life, that I spent most of my life hiding it. Because I, I knew that uh, everybody looked at it and, like I was a weirdo. There was a point when I went, okay, I know there's a lot of people out there doing this. I know there's a lot of people making money at it. I'm going there. I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm going to take everybody with me that I can. <laughs>